Adding a frame relay switch inside of virtualized GNS3. Let's begin. Our objective in this micro nugget is really simple. We want to take a look at our options for creating a frame relay cloud inside of GNS3. And secondly, actually take a look at configuring one of those options. Now the two options that exist are we could take an iOS image and create a router and have that iOS emulate the frame relay service provider network. That's a pretty cool option. And the other option is the frame relay object inside of GNS3 itself. They're both possible, but something important has to be decided on first. And that is what type of frame relay network are we trying to create? So before we get into the configuration of the permanent virtual circuits and the frame relay virtual network, let's take a look at the goal. In this topology, we have the headquarters site here, we have site two, site three, and we have two PVCs. The PVCs are this guy right here, we'll call it PVC A, and right here, we'll call that PVC B. The PVCs are recognized by the local routers by the local DLC. So R1 says, hey, DLC 103, I can use it to reach R3. And R3 says, hey, I can use DLC 301 to reach R1. And we could put full mesh here as well, but in this topology, we simply have two DLCs. Let's take a look at exactly how to set those up inside of GNS. To begin with, I've got R1, R2, and R3 all sitting. They're running, and they're even configured, waiting for frame relay to work. However, it's not because something's missing. I'm not sure what it is, but it could be the frame relay service provider is missing. Let's fill in that gap by using the frame relay object inside of GNS3. Over here, we have this frame relay switch. I'm going to drag him off and put him on the topology. And now that he's on the topology, let's go ahead and put our plan together. Our plan, just as a reminder, is we are going to have physical connections. I say physical. We'll have some logical physical connections in place. And then we're going to make our PVCs. I'll put them in green. We're going to have a PVC here that is 102, and it's going to be 201 on this side. Another PVC here, that'll be 103 and 301. So that's the PVCs we're going to create, and the connections are 1, 2, and 3. Now those connections, 1, 2, and 3, don't exist until we configure them on the frame relay switch. So we'll double click on that switch and say, let's configure it. So port 1 is going to be 102, that's the DELC, and that's going to go to port 2, which is going to be 201. And we'll click on add, and that's our first PVC. There's one down, one to go. The second one is also going to start at port number 1. We're going to call that 103. It's going to end up at port 3, and the other side of that PVC is going to be called 301. Now, the best thing to do is when you put them in here, just do a quick double check. Make sure you have them right. So from port 1 to 2, which is from R1 to R2, there's the DELCs involved. And from R1 to R3, that's the DELCs involved. Now, if we get the physical connections correct, we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and save this. Now it's in place. We'll put our connections in. We'll use this manual tool and say, I want to go port 1 to R1 and R2 to the frame relay switch to port 2 and port 3 going to R3. And let's put on the label maker 2 just to verify that our ports are. So it's not giving us the labels for the frame relay itself. That's curious. So to fix that, I'm going to turn off the labels for a moment. I'm going to say view and just ask it to reset the interface labels. And then we'll go ahead and turn the labels back on. There we go. There's the ports. I'm not sure why it didn't show up earlier. Sometimes, sometimes GNS3 does interesting things like that, but that's all right. So there's our physical connections. If you can call them physical in the GNS3 environment, the frame relay switch is configured and R1, R2, and R3 are all configured properly for their frame relay topology. This guy's 10.0.0.1. This is dot two on that same network and dot three. There's also some loopbacks and some routing protocols working. Let's verify that we have reachability over the frame relay cloud. So we'll bring up our devices and we'll go to R1 and R1 will do a show IP interface brief. Just see what our IP addresses are and we'll show frame relay map. And what this says is this says my address is 10.0.0.1 on my serial 00 interface. And out of that interface, I know I can reach 10002 if I send traffic down DELC 102. And then it's up to the frame relay service provider to deliver that to the other end. So let's do a quick test with a ping of 10.0.0.2 to verify that works. And we can also ping 10003 and verify that our frame relay switch is indeed up and running. In this micro nugget, you and I have identified two different options for integrating a virtual frame relay cloud inside of GNS3 by using an iOS router config or, as demonstrated in this micro nugget, the frame relay object inside of GNS3. 
I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.